Hey everyone, I have my April boxy charm. So if you want to see what I got, continue watching. I think I uh, calculated this earlier and it was around 140 in products, which I'm pretty happy about because I pay around 30 bucks. So as long as I get $100 extra, you know, makes me happy. So one anything from 130 to, you know, whatever, is, I'm okay with it. Hopefully I like more than one product though. Okay, so let's start with the one product I know that I'm going to try. Not today, but I'm going to try because I do like the smell. It is the Christopher Robin um, Volumizing Spray. It is a leave-in mist with rose water, and it definitely smells like rose, which I love. Um... I just don't know about the volumizing spray, you know, I don't know, but I will try it, and I like the fact that it's five ounces, so if I do like it, I have plenty to play with, and if not, I might just use it as a room spray, yeah, I will, I'm using it, it's one of the more expensive products on here, it, it, it actually is my most, my products are actually, $40 and under, or less than $40 and under. So this one's $39, which I would definitely not pay $39 for a, a hairspray or volumizing spray. Like, no. But it does smell nice. Which is a plus. Also, it did come with this this time. It was wrapped around um, the palette that I got. Which I might as well just tell you what it is because, uh, I mentioned it. So this palette is $30 and it is the Complex Culture Beauty Favorite So Future So Bright Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I don't know about you. I personally don't like seeing this brand here because I've seen this in Ipsy like a lot and I don't really want to see Ipsy products in BoxyCharm. But, that being said, if I got plus, that would piss me off even more because I probably would have already had this palette. But I don't have it, and it is really pretty. At least the colors for me are definitely up my alley. Okay. Like, definitely the colors I go for. And my sister says she really likes, thinks it's pretty too, so I will definitely be sharing this with her because I won't use it that often but let me just do three colors for you So that's the swatch that you're getting from me. But um, I am happy to try it. It's just, it's a brand I don't really care for. I do not like their brushes at all. And uh, I think I have um, a lip balm or something from them and that was crap too. So this does look nice. I definitely will do a look with it. And see if I like it but um, the colors are nice I will not say anything about the colors the colors are beautiful okay so uh, the next product I got is this one right here and it's the lucky chick and it is this it is a liquid eyeshadow which looks like that I'm not the biggest fan of these because I have hooded eyes and it literally will go up here. But what I'll try to do is like kind of do a liner maybe with this or I will decide to give it to my sister because I won't use it. But this is what it looks like. I did already swatch that for you. It's very nice. And it does stay because I let it sit for a little bit before I showed you. But it did stay. It's not moving. 
which is gives it high hopes. But I have oily lids, so I don't know if it will work for me, but it works for my hand. And if I just wanted to go around like that and show people all day, it would work. I do not think this is worth... Let's see. Um, the palette was $30. I don't know if I told you that. Um, and this was $22, which again, I wouldn't spend that. 12 bucks, maybe, not 22 So, and now I have the mascara is $15, and that is from Madison, Addison Ray, not Madison. I said this last time. And it looks like this. I definitely think it's going to be nice to like try to get the smaller lashes and maybe if you're a lower lash person like that might be for you I'm always happy to get a mascara that's probably one of my favorite things to get in boxes besides like you know skincare on certain skincare not all skincare some skincare and my last item is this juice beauty bamboo Pore Refining Mask. I am not the biggest fan of Juice Beauty. I think it's because uh, my sister got something from the Ipsy Deals a long time ago. And it must have been bad or it just smelled horrible. She did not like it. This doesn't smell bad at all. And I like um, detoxing masks because I have oily skin and I need all the help I can get. So... Um, this is $36. Again, the most expensive product I got was this one. It was $39. So, so $39, I'm pretty happy with everything. I mean, like I said, it's not like all that exciting to be honest. Like, eh, boring. But, um, it could have been a flop and I would have liked none. I will use these products, so I'm okay with it. I feel like Ipsy has been going downhill for me lately. So I might have to cancel that one, but you'll be the judge when I post that one after this one eventually. So, um, again, if you want to, please subscribe if you want to, like, and definitely comment if you have something to say. If it's nice. If it's mean, then just go on somewhere else. I just don't need that today. But um, have a good day and stay safe. Bye.